So, you're Aldo the Apache. You're the Jew Hunter. <sighs> Jew Hunter. I'm a detective. And a damn good detective. Finding people is my specialty. So, naturally, I work for the Nazis finding people. And, yes, some of them were Jews, but Jew Hunter? Just a name that stuck. Well, you do have to admit, it is pretty catchy. Do you control the nicknames your enemies bestow on you? I mean, Aldo the Apache and the Little Man? What do you mean, the Little Man? The German's nickname for you. The German's nickname for me is the Little Man? Or the Little One. Either one means you. And as if to make my point, I'm a little surprised about how tall you are in real life. I mean, you're not circus midget little, as your reputation may suggest. Where is my man? Where is Bridget von Hansmark? Bridget von Hansmark. I'm sure she's in whatever big bubbling cesspool in hell the devil has reserved for traitors of her ilk. Let's just say she got what she deserved. And when you purchase friends like Bridget von Hansmark, you get what you pay for. Now, as far as you, Pistanos, Sergeant Don Witz, and Private Hinsenberg, How did you know our names? <laughs> Lieutenant Aldo, if you don't think I wouldn't interrogate every single one of your swastika marked survivors, we simply aren't operating on the level of mutual respect I assumed. Now, back to the whereabouts of your two Italian saboteurs. At this moment, both Hitchenberg and Downwind should be sitting in the very seats we left them in. Seats 0023 and 0024, if my memory serves. Explosives still around their ankles, still ready to explode. And your mission, as some would call it a terrorist plot, as of this moment, is still a go. That's a very interesting story. So, uh... What's next? Police on the eyes? All I have to do is pick up that phone right there, inform the cinema, and your plans are kaput. If they're still there, and if they're still alive, and that's one big if, there ain't no way you're gonna take them boys without setting off them bombs. Oh, I have no doubt. And yes, some Germans will die, and yes, you will be ruining the evening, and yes, Gobbles will be very, very, very mad at you for what you've done to his big night. But you won't get Hitler, and you won't get Gobbles, and you won't get Gearing, and you won't get Borman, and you need all four to end the war. But if I don't pick up the phone right there, you may very well get all four. And if you get all four, you end the war. Tonight. So, gentlemen, let's discuss the prospects of ending the war tonight. The way I see it, Hitler's death or possible rescue relies solely on my reaction. If I do nothing, it's almost as if I'm causing his death, even more than yourselves. Wouldn't you agree? I guess so. How about you, Yudovich? I guess so too. Good. We more or less all agree. Now, gentlemen, I have no intention of killing Hitler, or killing Gauls, or killing Gehring, or even killing Mormon. Only to win the war for the Allies, and later find myself standing before a Jewish tribunal. If you want to win the war tonight, you'll have to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind you wouldn't have the authority to make, but I'm assuming that your mission has a uh, commanding officer? A general, I'm betting for. Ah, OSS would be my guess. Oh, that's a bingo! Oh, is that how you say it? That's a bingo? You just say bingo. Bingo. Now, I digress. Where were we? Oh, right, yes. 
making a deal. Over here is a very capable two-way radio, and sitting behind it is a more than capable radio operator named Herman. Get me somebody on the end of that radio with the power of the pen to authorize my, uh, let's call it, terms of conditional surrender. If that tastes better going down, 